Hi guys, what is up? It's Olivia and welcome back to my channel. As you can already tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me on this look that I'm wearing right now. This hand motion was like weird, like... <laughs> Basically, this is what I do not every day, but when I'm like going out. I don't really wear makeup. I don't wear any makeup to school. But yeah, this is just what I wear when I want to put makeup on and go out and do something or if I have to go somewhere. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundation along with a knockoff brand beauty blender and I'm just going to apply this all over my face and blend it in. So I'm trying out a new camera angle and everything and a new setup and I'm really digging it so I hope it looks okay because I don't have a viewfinder so I can't really see much. I can't really see if it's in focus. I'm pretty sure it is. I hope it is. I would suck if it isn't. I'm just making sure to blend it down my neck and back to my ears. I'm really like always super scared that my foundation's gonna have a line, so I always spend so much time on this part. I'm fairly new to foundation. I never really used to wear it that much. I just decided I kinda wanted to try an extra layer of makeup, and I found that it makes a huge difference, and I really recommend the Maybelline foundation because it blends really nice, and it's not super heavy or like cakey or anything either, so if you're a beginner with foundation, I would 10 out of 10 recommend this Maybelline one. It's really nice. And I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the lightener one, so it brightens under your eyes and makes you look more awake. So I really love this. I've been using this concealer for a really, really long time, and I'm totally obsessed with it. And I know a lot of other people like it as well. So if you're looking for like a good illuminator, um, I would definitely recommend it. Now I'm taking a different Maybelline concealer. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal, and I'm going to be using this to cover up this little planet on my forehead. I just put a little bit on my finger, and then just put it onto my pimple. And then of course anywhere else that I'm breaking out, like around my nose and stuff as well. If you guys know a really great blemish concealer, let me know in the comments down below because I always struggle trying to find one that actually like blurs it out, you know what I mean? And I, I can never find one, so suggestions would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> now I'm going to set all of those liquid items with the Revlon Photo Ready Pressed Powder as well as a little cosmetic sponge. I'm gonna kind of do like my take on baking or whatever. I have super oily skin, so... Baking helps a little bit. I don't do it completely right because I don't use like a full loose powder, but I still think how I do it helps, so. If you have super oily skin like myself and you're looking for something to mattify your skin, do not buy this. I bought it because a lot of people rave about how much they love it and I was looking for a new face powder so I thought I'd try it out. But there's actually shimmer in it so it's great for photos but not great if you're looking to mattify your skin. So while I let that bake on my face, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm using the Chella Eyebrow Pencil in Tantalizing Taupe. I got this in an Ipsy bag, like one of my very first Ipsy bags. I'm still using it. I love it. It is my favorite eyebrow product ever and I'm just using an old mascara wand as a spoolie brush. Okay, so eyebrows are super hard to do on camera, so if they look really bad, don't mind that, but I did the best I could, so. Now moving back to that powder, I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush, and I'm going to go back in and dust off all of that powder that is on my face right now. And then I'm just going to go in with a final dusting of it. it. Seems like a lot of powder, but when I say my skin's really oily, I mean my skin is really oily, so... I'm now going to move on to bronzing and I'm using the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I really like this bronzer because it's a quad of colors that you blend together and I think the outcome of all of them together looks really nice. And to put that on, I'm going to be using the Sephora and Pantone Universe Blush Brush. So 
So once that's applied, I'm going to go back in with this fluffy brush and just kind of blend it all out because I'm not really looking for a contour. I'm looking more for just some color in my face since I'm really pale, so. Of course, once I'm done bronzing, I'm going to highlight and the highlighter I'm using today is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. It's really cool because it has a double shade. You can use either one or mix them together. And I'm going to be applying that with the crown brush. I don't know which one it is, it doesn't say, but I got it in an Ipsy bag and I really like it, so. I'm going to be taking the same highlighter and the Luxie 223 short shader brush and applying this to my brow bone. And I'm putting a little bit in my inner corner as well. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. The colors in this palette are absolutely beautiful, and they're just so warm and like, mm, I don't know, I just, it's a, it's a nice palette, it's a good palette. Using the Luxie 231 Small Tapering Brush, I'm going to take the color Salted Caramel and apply it to my grease. Once that's done, I'm taking the Crowned C412 Pointed Crease Brush. This is a little bit less dense than the previous one I used, and I'm going to blend that into the highlighter that I put on my brow bone. If that makes sense, just, you know, I'm just blending it. <laughs> I feel like if you just read off the names of brushes and like the shades of eyeshadow, you kind of sound like you know what you're doing because honestly, I have no idea, but I'm pretty impressed with how like professional I sound. Once that's done, I'm going to be jumping back to my e.l.f. Cool Bronzing Quad and I'm going to take the dark brown and the orangey shade in it and blend them together using the Scone Smudger Brush and apply that on my lower lash line. So that's pretty much it for eyeshadow. I don't really do much. I'm not very good at eyeshadow and I like very simple, minimal looking makeup. So that's it. We're gonna move on to eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, which is just black. Honestly, I am not impressed with this eyeliner at all and I may get killed for saying that, but I love the brush, it's awesome, but I feel like this eyeliner is constantly drying out, like every time I go to use it, I'll get like one line and like a half of my wing done and then it'll start going dry and I'll have to like rub it all over the back of my hand to get stuff to come out and it's like really annoying because it's so hyped up and I love the brush and everything but the formula I feel like just dries out so fast and it's really annoying but that's just me maybe I don't know <laughs> this is really hard to do on camera so I'll be right back Okay, so they kind of look really bad, and of course they do because I'm filming, but it's whatever. So we're just going to move on to mascara. I use three different mascaras, and the first one I use is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Next, I use the Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I believe this is from L'Oreal, and this is waterproof, so I apply it to both the top and bottom lashes. And the last one I use is the Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama, and this is waterproof as well, so it's once again going on my top and bottom lashes. Finally, moving on to lips, I jump around with my lip colors and change it up all the time, but today I'm going to first be applying the ColourPop Lippy Stick Primer all over my lips, so my lipstick will stay on. And then for the actual lip color, I'm going to be using the ColourPop 
Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade Echo Park. This is a really nice pinky color. It's a pinky brown. It's something I don't usually buy. And when it came in, I was really surprised at how much I liked it, so. And finally, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay De Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is the oil control one and spraying it all over my face. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already and you would like to, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below or over here off to the side. I post new videos every single week. Until my next one, I love you all so much and I will see you guys later. Bye guys!